What happens when a horned beast is unleashed on a family that has no Christmas spirit? What happens? Find out next on Trees in Space. Welcome, everybody. And in case you missed the thumbnail, this week we watched the holiday horror comedy fantasy movie Krampus or Krumpus. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. The Krampus. Uh, I'm Jason, along with Nate. And uh, hey, we're everybody. here because this movie was um, interesting, to say the least. What do you think there, Nate? It was it was a choice. It was, <laughs> it was a choice. It's a... It, basic story behind is a European folklore uh, of Krampus who comes and basically, I guess, kills or brings to hell all the naughty children of Europe. And that's what right. this movie is about. This family who decides that it, they it, don't have the Christmas spirit just belongs in hell. Yeah, this, fam- this one family is cursed. <laughs> that's it. This grandma <laughs> cursed the entire family. All she had to do was keep her damn legs shut and there, this problem never would have happened. I'm a home. Well, what got me was, was it the whole city, the whole town? Everybody. Every, but you didn't see anyone else get killed, you know, and when... when spoil, yeah, there's spoil, a lot of off-camera killing. There is a lot. But when the, the oldest daughter goes away the first time, I'm like, oh. oh my, this, that ruined this the movie. She well, was, was the like, only... This movie's done. This movie is not done, but it has already subverted my expectations. They've already killed a main character. Some of the uh, the the creatures, the demons. I I I will say I did enjoy the the costumes and stuff of these creatures, like the jo- the jester in the box. Yeah, that was the, scary. The porcelain oh. and all that, like they went they went nutty on the budget there. They did. But like I said, I didn't understand why it was the whole town. Because, you know, Crumpish comes up because one little kid tears up a letter to Santa Claus because he now no longer believes in Santa Claus, even though he kind of did. He got made fun of by his twin or his cousins. Yeah, his twin cousins. And they they make out in the first 10, 15 minutes of this movie as the family coming to visit are just piece of shit human beings mm-hmm. to include the ant. But the... 15 minutes later, they're not really bad people, even though they're they just act like bad people. They're just a little misguided, you know? They are a little misguided. It, it's it's a lot like um, Christmas Vacation with Uncle Eddie. Shitter was full! Yes. That's exactly it, the vibe I got from the that interaction. It was. I think they were trying to be... They, they leaned a lot into that interaction, and of course, then they changed it to, you know, this horror movie. Right. Or attempt to be a horror movie. Now, it, what is up like the the animated part where it goes into like claymation for the grandma's like flashback scene? Oh, the flashback talking about Krampus. Yeah. Yes. And then this bitch, she speaks German the entire time, except she learned this one paragraph in English. So she could one day tell her English grandchildren about the story of Krampus because one of, she knew one of them was going to tear up a letter and not believe yes. and this whole thing was going to happen. Grandma and, knew. And what the hell was under the snow? I thought it was, was the 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 uh, the jack in the box. Well, see, I don't know. They never show what it was. No, it was I very have... tremory. And why is it that they could take someone like that, but some people it takes a while to get them down? Like the first guy that got captured by it and got rescued. The ball-headed dude, what has he played in before? A lot of comedies. Plays it with Hot Will Tub Time Machine. Yeah, he on, was, uh, uh, I don't um, remember, but he does uh, a great uh, job. Yeah, all, I thought Central. the acting was fine. The, I did too. And that says a lot because the main, the father, him, I can't remember Adam his Scott. name. Adam Scott plays the father. Who? Adam Scott. I'm not really a big Adam Scott fan, I've realized. I don't think he's really that great of an actor. He doesn't really show emotion very well. He's very basic. It would be like putting me in that movie, in that role. I like, 
I don't feel as if my emotion would have been there. It like he just didn't deliver the fact that like his oldest like let's get for, like spoilers again. The oldest daughter gets killed like right away, and mm-hmm. nobody really panicked. Well, I think they tried to because they went to go find her, and then they almost got eaten. Right, and they came back, and so they knew something really good. Well, she's fine because we can't go back out there. And the weather was frostbiting people. It was just I don't understand the snowmen that kept building up around. Them. I think it was the souls of the people oh, that the they people kept they taking. Yes, because when the little boy was taken, the one who didn't talk, another uh, snowman was out there in the front, and small, wearing the same type yeah. thing the boy was. So and I think you're right. Like, the, I can understand a, a, a boy's got to eat, right? Fish got to swim. Birds got to eat. But. Why would you eat something that fell down a chimney that is attached to a freaking chain? Like, how Willy Wonka backwoods shit can you be? What did he say? How Willy Wonka backwoods shit can you be? Okay, I'm going to say something that may be controversial and probably piss some people off. Uh, the, you know... 75, 74 subscribers, plus the 43 OGs. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, he, I think he might be on the spectrum. And I'm not saying that people on the spectrum are stupid, because a lot of them are not. But some don't uh, react or do things the he's, he's typical slow. way. He's slow. Yeah. So, and yeah, when he, I mean, <laughs> that was the weirdest thing I think. The movie was very weird. It was. It was just very odd. And like when the uncle, we were just talking about, jumps on the jackbox and rides it out into the snow. What the... F- you know, just just so you... Spoiler alert, everyone dies in this movie. Yes. Or Except did they? One. Or did they? Because or that's was he dreaming? Thing. You know, because that's what happened with the mother. She said that... Uh, Everyone in her family was taken and murdered and destroyed or whatever, and left. And she was left with a little bell. This is Krampus on it. Mm-hmm. I would love to have that bell. Agreed. First. I mean, not the, that way of going down, but that's still a pretty <laughs> sweet bell. <laughs> so, what was the uh, most unique uh, or oddest, like, animal or animation of the the devil dolls things that you like? Was Look, it the Jack in the Box? I the Jack in the Box is pretty sweet. I love. I did enjoy the elves, but like the transformer mechanical mm-hmm. toys. Autobots, roll out. That needed to go away. Pick a lane. Either you're gonna be old timey or you're yeah. gonna be new timey. You can't be yeah. both. And uh, I, I love the the attic scene that when he was trying to get away and the mother of the twins, whatever, go beats everything's ass. She's just hitting all the the, the bear, and she's just knocking the shit. That was who it was, right? Yeah. Uh, now, the, when you saw, what did you think of when you saw the bag in the beginning of the movie? When he was like, "Oh, the," and that's kind of the thing too. Is there's this unbridled contention between the men. But it's not really between the two of them. It's between I want to say his name is Dale, but the guy, the the uncle, because uh, he's I think his name is Dale. Yeah, he's jealous that the, they have no money, and these guys over here have all these things. They they have a big house. Yeah. They you know they have all this nice furniture. They have you know specific mm-hmm. dishes for this. They have a child that brought the hell of Satan hell onto him. But go ahead. Yeah, exactly. Hell. And the aunt. That got along with the grandma, like Aunt Bernice or whatever. Uh, I loved her. I like her as an actress. I thought she was great. And when she was like, they're like, what did she say? And the kid's like, I don't know what she said. And the aunt's like, we're fucked. You you get to a certain age in life where you don't need to understand what the language is, but you just know you're fucked. When you, You said, what did I think about the bag? Did you say the bag? What bag? The Christmas bag. In the beginning of the movie, when the FedEx came in, and they... Oh, it was on the doorstep? Yeah. They dropped it in? I thought it was going to be a plot point, which it didn't turn out to be, did it? They didn't open the bag and, like... So that bag out. got caught on fire, and that's where all those toy gremlins came in the attic. 
Right. So the sister aunt was going to Opry wrap them. So they were yes. in those. So that's where that bag came in. I thought it was Santa leaving that bag to like show to that. And that was going to save Christmas was this bag from Santa. Yeah, because I hated the ending of this movie. I was not a fan. Yeah, it was like, what's the point of the movie? Yeah, so it's, okay, I take it back. I want my family back or whatever. It's like, and then, you know, you, he gets dropped. And you know that's what's going to happen. So here's my question. As they are, he wakes up, well, wake up, sleepy head. And then he gets opens his present. And he gets the Krampus bell. And everyone stops and looks. Right. Like, everyone knows that's what happened. They all woke up with that same dream. They all with that, and they didn't talk about it. They just knew, but mm. it all must have been a bad dream. And they saw the Krampus thing, like, okay, that was real. That's See, I didn't think of that. That they all had the dream because they only showed him waking up. But that's a very good, astute observation there, LP. Thanks. But here's my question: the delivery guy who delivered the stuff at the beginning of the movie. Yeah, he, he he's dead in. One of the in the beginning of the movie, he died. Yep. Does he get a comeback? Is he alive? I think everybody's is else back. In the neighborhood alive? I think everybody just got reset. So everybody in the world just had that bad dream, but only this one family or this one town. Everybody in this town had that bad dream, except this family knew that it was like, well, maybe it's not a dream. Oh, yeah. So all in all, but let's go on to our reviews of this movie. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes gives a score of 66. The audience gives a score of 51. That's which surprisingly I'm surprised. close. Well, I'm surprised that audience got lower than Rotten Tomatoes. Um, you know, Rotten Tomatoes is lower than audience ratings, usually. Obviously, if the movie's more artistically and, like, you know, left or right, leaning, like, far, deep, you know, not mainstream. Right. Tomatoes tend to go uh, higher. The first five-star review by Sarah A. Not too scary, but it has the right amount of thrills. It got a bit crazy towards the end with a lot of monsters and the stuff from Nightmares in the Attic. And yes, it's true. I enjoyed the suspense of what the Krampus actually looked like. That's a good point. And it is filling when he finally reveals his face. Yes. I thought... I, I, I The costumes, the wardrobe, the set design, all that I thought was brilliant. Um, but man, it took a while to develop. Yes. Uh, Emmett S here has the first one star review or less absolute PG 13 let down of a horror movie. If there was a sequel, I'd be, I'd straight up die. Uh, uh, bad plot, bad characters, bad goddamn everything. Two tenths, 9% on the tomato meter for me. It's not a good watch. And you know what, Emmett? I almost want to agree with you, but I do have to say, hashtag Krampus too white. I think this movie was too white. There was no... It was all white. Or maybe he shows up for Christmas morning with the fresh hopcock. Uh, cup of cup, cup of cup of first to die because the boyfriend was the first to die. Okay, Ben says generally the best horror film I have ever seen. What? It's just so bizarrely funny and festive. You can't help but love it. The acting phenomenal. The monsters horrifying. The snow plentiful. I <laughs> watch this masterpiece at least three times every Christmas. And I will defend it until my last breath. You sound like a fan of Nickelback. But Liz O here says this movie sucked ass. It made no sense. They set up rules for how Krampus worked and then broke every one. I haven't seen this movie in years, but I think it. But thinking about it pissed me off. Disgraceful. <laughs> So he's if he's this like, wasn't he's like, the, this should have been the tagline for the movie, like on all the movie posters, you know, you have the Krampus movie, and then this movie sucked ass, <laughs> disgraceful. <laughs> Liz O. 
nothing but thinking about it. Just pissed this me off to the point I had to put a review. Yeah, I, like, I w- went back years later to write a review review about a movie which, that I saw. This is not wrong. Uh, they did set up rules for Krampus, and they did not stick to the rules. Yep. That's true. That's a very good point. I didn't even think about that. Now I think it went down half a stump in my estimation. Uh, Unknown says, what the absolute... What the absolute fuck were people split about? Can I get an answer here? This person's mad. This is absolutely fantastic film on the level of Gremlins. Well, frankly, it takes a lot to of courage to even say that. It's bold. It's absolutely fucking true. This is not a fucking joke. It's a 10, not a fucking typical blow average score. This it's a 10. A fucking 10. Right, Billy Bob. It was a ten. I say that way. This this was all caps. I'm not doing it. No, it's all caps in the review. It's this guy's man. I think this now, is his movie. But you know what though, I will I will agree with him. It is at the level of Gremlins, and I wasn't a fan of Gremlins. So, uh, this is an unknown one star review. This movie sucks. Okay, another one. Where and I can't believe yours was never mind. Now I can. Uh, where do you begin? Zero stakes, there's nothing to risk. How many times do you have the bad dream trope to uh have played? What's even the lesson? Love your family, or else you might die by Krampus. <laughs> Not feeling it, folks. Also, how many times can you show the go ahead and save yourself scene? I don't understand what this movie is even about. There's that's true. Uh, possible Dundee. Jeez, how I despise the fat Yankee family on this movie. As per usual, the fat shite of a trailer trash dumb dad needs punching to death. And there are many, many remedial bastards want put, putting out of everyone's misery. Typical American family. <laughs> That's why everyone hates Yankee Doodle Dandies. That ruined a movie that could have been fun. That might be the absolute perfect WTF moment or review of this movie. I'm like... Are you reviewing the movie or, or United States? I mean, what the hell? It's like, I feel attacked. I feel... I know. I guess it's time to uh, give my ranking of this movie. Sadly, I have seen a few Christmas movies already this year. And I have to compare these to all those movies I have seen. Sadly, because I have dropped it half a stump. And it just started off at two and a half stumps. I give this um, two and a half, two, you know what I mean? I'm giving this two trees. Two trees. Just two trees. Yes. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't joking before when I said it was middle. It, it's, it, I was at three trees going into this movie. That's where I thought I would land. And the more we talked about it, and like, there, you know, I didn't even get to talk about the dumb twins going upstairs. Like, well, we talk about how they separated. You can talk about that now if you like to. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, why did they go upstairs? Bathroom? And Food? then why would they go up in the attic when they know that their cousin is dead? I'm going to say this movie... One... Two... A tree and a stump. A tree and a stump. That's fair, because... You you are very critical on wonderful movies, and you love shitty movies. So the fact, <laughs> that I mean, is- first I I don't I didn't care for Adam Scott in the movie. the The other dude, the bald dude, I loved him. I loved his wife in the movie. I didn't like Adam Scott's wife in that movie. I didn't care for her as an actress. Nick's they actress, they so. killed the most attractive person in the entire movie within the first 20 minutes and then there's this was the most attractive person in the whole movie what are you talking about he had some good manicuring going on for sure he had some boobs and and then again like the the one guy said that they didn't even follow their own rules at least in it like in zombie land they followed the rules and guess what they survived 
yeah, no yeah. shit, you died because you didn't follow the rules that Grandma Austria <laughs> told you. And you know there's only one rule: keep the fire hot. And they never did that. Yeah, and also, they, yeah. where did they get four days worth of wood? I, you know, it's all. You know. <laughs> so that was our review on Krampus. Thank you for coming along on the sleigh ride with us for this Christmas type movie. Uh, please give us a like, a subscribe, possibly a comment, or at least tell a friend. And come back because every Monday we have a brand new trees and space for you to enjoy. Have a great day, everybody. What?